factorization when a given algebraic expression is the product of two or more algebraic expressions each of the expression is called the factor of the given expression the process of finding these factors is called as factorization we will learn about the different methods of factorizing an algebraic expression method 1 factorization by taking out the common factor we know the meaning of the term factor a factor is a number that divides completely the given number for example 3x square y is a number if we divide this number by 3 we get x square y similarly when we divide this number by x we get 3xy and by 3 we get 3x square so the factors of the expression 3x square y are 3 x and y now let us understand how to factorize a given algebraic expression by taking out common factors example 6x square minus 14x cube this expression has two terms 6x square and 14x cube the factors of 6x square are 2 3 x and x the factors of 14x cube are 2 7 x x and x we can see here that the numerical value 2 is common and the variable x and x are common therefore the common factors of both the terms are 2 into x into x which is 2x square so we will write 2x square and then write the remaining terms inside the bracket like this thus 2x square in bracket 3 minus x are the factors of the given expression method 2 factorization by grouping the terms look at this example ax plus ay plus bx plus by this example cannot be solved by method 1 as there is no common factor in all the four terms in this problem we see that the first and the third term has common factor x and the second and the last term has a common factor y we group the like terms ax plus bx plus ay plus by so by taking common factor x we can write this as x into a plus b and by taking common factor y we can write this as y into a plus b now in these two terms we see that a plus b is a common factor so we can write it as a plus b into x plus y factorization of trinomial we know that a trinomial is an expression with three terms since there are three terms we cannot factorize the expression by grouping them therefore we use a different method to find the factors of such expression let us understand the method by considering different examples example 1 x square plus 7x plus 12 To understand how to find the factors of this expression consider a general expression of the form ax square plus bx plus c we multiply a and c so we get ac then we take two such factors of ac which when added we should get the middle term coefficient of x that is b we shall apply this technique to find the factors of our expression x square plus 7x plus 12 if we compare this expression with our general form of expression that is ax square plus bx plus c here a is equal to 1 as you can see the coefficient of x square is 1 and c is equal to 12 we will find a into c that is 1 into 12 which is 12 next 
we find product of factors of 12. The product of factors are 2 into 6, 4 into 3 and 1 into 12. In these combination of numbers, 4 and 3 are such numbers which when added, we get 7. 7 is present in the middle term. Therefore, our expression can be written as x square plus 7x plus 12 is equal to x square plus 4x plus 3x plus 12. Now, we can group the first two terms and the last two terms is equal to x square plus 4x plus 3x plus 12. Next, we take common factors out in both these terms x into x plus 4 plus 3 into x plus 4 x plus 4 into x plus 3. So, x plus 4 and x plus 3 are the factors of the expression x square plus 7x plus 12. This way of factorization is called splitting the middle term.